Here, we can see a water tower. What's a water tower? It's a pretty simple machine. Clean, treated water is pumped up into the tower where it's stored. Because it works with gravity, it has to be taller than the buildings it's providing water to in order to reach the highest floors. I notice the metal bands going around the water tower. The spacing of these bands gets closer and closer together from top to bottom. Why do you think that is? Well, let's think. What happens when water is held in the water tower? Um, it stays there? Sure. But you get more and more pressure as you go down. As Dr. Whitney, founder of the National Museum of Math in New York and WalkSTEM advisor told us, the pressure of water pushing against the sides of the tank is proportional to the depth of the water. At twice the depth, there's twice as much pressure. And for the water tank to hold together, the structure needs twice the strength. Right. The top band only needs to fight against the water at the very top of the tower, but the bottom bands have to hold the entire volume from bursting out. Dr. Whitney explained that one way to make the water tower a strong and stable structure is to reduce the spacing of the bands by half at twice the depth. At three times the depth, the pressure is three times as great, and thus the spacing should be reduced to one third the distance. The result is that the spacing gets closer together at the bottom of the tank. So, in mathematical terms, the spacing between the bands would be described by the equation function of x equals 1 divided by x. Wow, I didn't know you had that equation in you, Andrew. Well, it's special. This is one of the few places in real life you can actually see a graph of the function 1 over x. True.